Well, good morning to all of you and thanks for joining us for today. You can see me just um, taking some steps just for the sick tune, for the montage. But the, when I was coming here today, I, I boarded one of those um, um, Uber cars. And there was this young gentleman I was talking to. And he was telling me his story about where he had come from, a background or a beginning that was similar to mine, about how difficult it was to get where he, where he is today, having his own car and buying additional two since he started the Uber business. Then he told me, there's no opportunity that doesn't present itself for you to aspire for greatness. So I decided to use that for my motivation this morning. There is always going to be a chance for you to aspire for greatness. And taking inspiration from my interaction with that Uber driver this morning, I told myself, it doesn't matter the circumstances, who you are, how great you are, or perhaps how less or not you have, either in money, in prosperity, in success, in property, in fulfillment, in emotional upliftment in which you find yourself. Because you may be a truck pusher somewhere at the Malamata market here in Accra, or you may be at Salaga, uh, in which you're just uh, somebody who is undertaking some menial jobs, or a teacher in one of those secondary schools across Ghana, or maybe just uh, somebody who is struggling to enter into a relationship. Just always make sure that you do your best to aspire for greatness. Aspiring for greatness doesn't mean that you have to be the richest. Aspiring for greatness doesn't mean that you have to be a Bill Gates. Aspiring for greatness doesn't mean that you have to become a member of parliament. Aspiring for greatness doesn't mean that you have to own a business. Aspiring for greatness means that you have to just make sure that the corner in which you find yourself and occupy, you become the best at what you want to do. Let us have big dreams. The dreams should not always be to become the most successful, richest Ghanaian. The dream could be to become a very successful seamstress designer or a successful artist or a successful musician or a pastor. So let's all from today try as much as possible in the little corner we find ourselves to aspire for greatness because greatness is always found in the fulfillment and the targets we set for ourselves. Good morning and thanks for joining us for the show today. The Ghana Health Service is going to have an interaction with us. Already we know that the Ghana Health Service and the Christian Health Association of Ghana, they're currently investigating uh, circumstances uh, uh, that uh, led to the death of a nine-week-old baby at the St. Gregory Hospital at Kaswa. We brought you that great story. Uh, Central Regional Correspondent Richie Kwanina had me on it. And this is all the story. The baby, the baby is said to have died after a doctor at the facility pulled the plugs of an oxygen machine because the baby's family had failed or could not afford to pay 533 Ghana cities of charge. Well, we've been in the studio and we've been thinking about it. So we decided to invite Cecilia Lodonusson, who is Executive Director for Hope for Future Generations and, uh, and a member of the Non-State Actors Ghana Health Advocacy Coalition. We'll also be speaking to the Ghana Health Service, the Director General, as much as possible, if we're able to get him on the line, and some key advocates and some key members of Parliament of the Health Committee. Today is also the International Day for Street Children. Many of you have been buying PKs, have been looking at children who are destitute on the roads. What do you do for them? But the key question is how can the phenomenon be eradicated totally? And that's our focus on the AM show as well. So we have uh, a sweet colleague, great colleague, MFA Nancy Jiradosi, having a story uh, today. And it's, uh, we're going to put together about um, a diff, uh, Asamani child rights campaigner who will also be speaking to us on the subject. But before we go, we would have had in the studio, the Ghana Second Technical School is set to represent Ghana this year's robotics festival in the United States of America. Many of you have watched that movie, Pacific Rim, etc. And ahead of that, we'll be hosting the students on the show, talking about what their exploits um, ha ha have been and what they're looking forward to when they visited Donald Trump Club. So, stick and stay.
you can get interactive. Facebook join us on TV. We also have a Twitter handle. And as always, you can watch us live through our regular channel on YouTube. Now, let's bring to you the regulars, the latest newspaper headlines, but now also the headlines of the news. And I will bring you sports. Stick and stay. We'll have a great time for the next three hours.